So um, we're going to start with transactions. So click on transactions and you will see this user ID. We're going to deal with it and then we don't need the user ID of the transactions. Instead, we might need the username, but we don't need the user ID. QR code owner ID, uh, not really. Um, QR code ID. We don't need QR code ID, do we? Payment method, message. We don't need message. Amount, status, action. So basically, we're just looking for things we need to remove to clean up this so that when the person clicks on it, they can now see uh, fully what it is. But I think first of all, we should um, simulate a transaction first. So we'll click on add new. Generally, you know, transactions need to be generated by the system. We don't need people to manually add the transaction. But for now, we're going to do it, uh, a transaction. And uh, we're going to have QR code ID. We're just going to guess one. The first QR code message, uh, payment successful. Payment method, we can say PayPal. QR code owner ID, there's one, Dave, amount $40, status approved or active, Com completed. We can do this, we can do save. Alright, and we're good. Save, beautiful. Alright, so we're going to use this as transaction ID, so um, we're not going to delete it. Alright, I will... Instead, if we go to transactions, roles, we're in transactions. On the transaction, we're going to go to the show fields. So here on transaction ID, I'm thinking we should just do it um, this way. Just call it transaction ID. this way so that all transactions cool transaction ID uh, one thing we can do is to put the ID here we can just copy this and delete the whole of this go to save of course go to show blade in this transaction we're gonna do it this way so that the ID shows on top here So hmm, now we're going to do, instead of just user ID, we're going to call this buyer. Um, we're back to this. So instead of calling it just user ID, we call it buyer. But it's going to be buyer name. We'll change this shortly. Reload. Uh, it has logged me out again. So buyer name, um, owner name, QR code of. Uh, creator QR code creator or something QR code creator or owner QR code owner name we're gonna make the names appear shortly don't worry and the uh, payment method here PayPal message successful amount all right I think amount should be somewhere top there status so QR code ID so this um we're not going to call this QR code ID. I think we should call it the product. Um, where is the QR code ID? We should call it the product name. See? Product name. That's what we need to call it. And then uh, we're going to bring it to the top. So now, how do we make product name um, reflect? You know, in the transactions table, there is a field called QR code ID. But then in the QR code table, there's a field called product name. Now we need to write a code. We need to tell Laravel that this transactions table is related to the QR code table in such a way that Laravel will be able to quickly pick up that name. Now, um, if this is your first time of doing it, then um, you may not fully, fully understand it the first time, except um, by the time I do it for one, two, three, it will start making sense to you. Now we're going to go to the transactions model. If we go to app folder, go to models, go to transaction. This is a transaction model. Now if you look down, you see that um, it doesn't specify relationships. 
is going to specify the relationship between the transaction model and the QR code model. All right, so we're going to do public function. Uh, we're going to call it QR code. And then we're going to specify the relationship. But before I do that, let me show you that in it's available. If this is your first time of reading it, then you can go read up more on relationships on Laravel documentation. Laravel documentation, all right? Make sure you set it to 5.6. If you scroll down to databases, eloquent, you will see relationships, you see. So there are four different kinds of relationships. Just take like a few minutes to read through everything. But what we are looking for is one to many. Here. So a uh, which model is this? Post model has many comments, okay? Um, I think a transaction has one QR code. A QR code has many transactions, okay? So it's the other way around. Let's go, let's take this to the QR code a model first. We need to connect the transactions table uh, model to the QR code model. So let's sort out the QR code first. Right here in the QR code model at the bottom, I'm going to paste this and we'll change this. Get the transactions. So we're going to call it transactions. One QR code can have many transactions to it. You understand the concept? So one QR, so a webmaster will create one QR code and uh, thousands of people can buy that product using that one QR code. That's the concept. So to connect to the transactions table, it will be app inside the app folder. Inside the app folder, we're going to see models. So we do models. Then inside the models, we're going to see transaction. That's it. Inside the model, we're going to say transaction. All right. So we now have to do the um, belongs to many, which is uh, the other one, because every transaction, I think it's one to one, every transaction now belongs to one um, QR code. You get. So we are going to do the belongs to, um, looking for it, belongs to. You see, every transaction will belong to. So we'll copy this. Like I said, just take your time, read through this page. It's not hard. Once you get the, the initial concept, that's okay. So get the transaction for the blog post, for the QR code. So every transaction will belong to, look at the transaction. Every transaction will belong to one QR code, QR code. Get the, trans, the QR code, QR code that owns the transaction. So every transaction belongs to just one QR code. So every transaction belongs to model QR code. Because app model, I think this is models. App models QR code. That's it. Beautiful. If now we've done this, we can now use this name to access the name we want. Now we've connected the two models. Laravel now knows how they are related. We can now go to our which field is this? Inside the transaction show fields, remember what we're trying to achieve um, here. This is transaction show fields. We try to display the QR code product name. Now we can do it easily. Look at it. QR code. Instead of QR code owner, ID, um, where is it? QR code product name. Instead of the QR code product name, we're going to do QR code. QR code. And we're going to do prod. Uh, product underscore name. I think that's the name of the field. If we go to our database, just to confirm that that's the name, we we'll log into our database, just to confirm on the QR codes, we want to be sure that it's product name, okay, product underscore name, so we're correct. So if we refresh this, we'll now see the product name instead of the ID reload. Look at here, um, product. Okay, look at it. Product name is now showing. You see, very beautiful. Then the other, the only other thing we need to do is to connect this product name so that uh, make it a link so that when somebody clicks, it goes to the other, it goes to the QR code directly. All right, but uh, this video has long run too long. I'll see you in the next video.